This is your Daily Dose with Dr. D. Here's Dr. Daniela Schreier. Hi there and welcome back. I'm Dr. Daniela and you're here to get your Daily Dose news today. The latest shooting at the Empire State Building in New York City. Jeffrey Johnson, a 58-year-old man who had been laid off from his import-export company in New York City, returned to his former office environment. He waited downstairs for his former VP of sales, Ercolini, Steve Ercolini, to appear and gunned him down with five shots. Ercolini died on the spot. Johnson proceeded to walk away, but was spotted by New York police officers a couple of blocks away in front of the Empire State Building. Uh, supposedly, he opened fire at the officers who then in return killed him. Nine innocent bystanders were hurt, but they are not in life-threatening conditions. Why is this case very important psychologically? Number one, Johnson was an American statistics. At the age of 58, he had been laid off two years ago at the age of 56. Many Americans are face this fate. They are losing their job in their middle 50s and it's really hard to get back into the job market, especially if you had a very qualified job, even when you're highly educated. It is difficult to re-enter because there's a downsizing going on all over America. And secondly, because we have many young college graduates coming into the job market and they come just as a cheaper rate. So often these people get very depressed, they, they isolate, they have a lot of anxiety and they get angry. Very often they don't have insurance, they don't have monetary support, they don't have a place where they can reach out to. So if one of these people is in your family or you know about a person who has been laid off and for many months is looking for a job, it's a very, very difficult time in their lives. Please reach out, put it on the table, tell them it must be really hard for you. I can understand their feelings of sadness or anger. Can I do anything to make that easier for you? For you, if you have been um, laid off, I also suggest reach out to other people who are in a similar situation. Maybe form some support groups or contact a counselor. This is very, very helpful. Then number two, we know that in America we have an increase in workplace violence and even workplace murder. We know about the long-standing fight between Ercolino and also and Johnson. This was reported by co-workers. So there were verbal altercations going on and pushing and shoveling, shoving in the office. You do not have to live through this. This is called a hostile office environment. And if you're witnessing that and you're getting uncomfortable, please don't chuck it up to competition. Go to your HR department. The human resource department can actually mandate these individuals to obtain employment assistance program sessions. First, they would call them in for an individual consult and talk to them what was going on. And then they can send them for counseling. And that is actually paid for and also supervised by the office. So they can get counseling for their anger and for their interactive patterns and maybe for impulse control issues. Or maybe they have family problems and they must be addressed in order for them to be appropriate in the office. Also, there can be a mandatory setup of testing if this person is actually a danger to you in the office environment. Safety first. So remember, I'm Dr. Daniela and you were here to get your daily dose. I hope you come back to see me soon again. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. This has been your Daily Dose with Dr. D. For more, go to drdaniela.com. That's drdaniela.com.